Hello, hello, welcome to section 2.4, Proof of Authority, where we reinstate that central authority to determine transaction ordering and solve that pesky little double spend problem. Well, let's dive right in. Once upon a time, there was a central authority that, you know, everyone kind of liked. They all approved of this, you know, great, great authority. And well, guess what that means? They said, why don't we just listen to them? Why don't we just, we were having these problems, we don't agree with this correct state is let's just have her tell us what the state is and so you know our central authority she runs her big node and and now we have these people they sign transactions and instead of sending them directly to each other they send them to the central authority the central authority will apply that transaction and sign the transaction themselves saying that yes I approve and this is transaction zero right right here that says it's transaction zero and then the central authority will send it to everyone and everyone will receive the transaction and accept it as gospel now let's try the double spend what's gonna happen there well Mallory is gonna send these two transactions remember they're conflicting transactions to the central authority now the central authority will receive the first one sign that this is the second transaction that they've seen and then sign that this is the third transaction that they've seen and then propagate those messages and so what happens there well everyone receives the same messages and they all watch the ordering of the central authority and so that means that they all actually end up with the same histories and so if we look at the states we're doing well right we're sending to Jing and then Mallory's sending to Alice and then Mallory's sending to Jing afterwards and the Jing one doesn't go through because Mallory doesn't have enough money and so their balances are all going to be the same it'll look pretty good um, they're all in consensus so the central authority great we've you know we've done it but now the problem is we have to trust the central authority to provide this transaction ordering so what happens if da, 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 the central authority is kicked out and it turns out it was Mallory all along well what are the problems well we get back into the same problems that we had before we can have double spends and now we have got a new problem where we have censorship this is a really interesting property so first double spends well we can just do the same attack that we've done before a million times where Mallory just signs both of those transactions saying that they're both occurring at the same time we don't know which one comes first and so Mallory will selectively propagate it and mess the nodes up and they will lose agreement so which comes first who knows and now that's a problem right now the other problem is censorship this is a new issue that we have with our proof of authority chain well what if Mallory doesn't like Alice to sermons you know Alice is kind of lame and so Alice is trying to send a transaction and the central authority will just look at the transaction notice it's Alice and you know throw it away and Alice can try to send it again and it'll get throw it away again and oh Alice doesn't know what the heck is happening her transactions aren't going through so censorship successful and we're back to pain well don't worry too much there's a potential mitigation of these problems well we can politically decentralize the authority this will theoretically make it more difficult for Mallory to kind of gain control of our authority so instead of having one central authority we have four different authorities and they all maybe represent different interests of different parties and they all have to get together to sign off on transactions and this is called a multi-sig right it's a multi-signature they're just signing off on these transactions altogether so they receive a transaction from you know Alice to Jing and then the first one is going to sign off saying I saw this message and I approve then the second one signs off and the third one and remember we can actually you know say oh we accept a two out of four multi-sig or a three out of four multi-sig so that means that you know we accept a message if it has two out of four signatures or maybe three out of four signatures or maybe we require all parties to sign off on a message and we require four out of four signatures it's up to you when you're doing your your multi-sig but this means that the transaction goes through and it's been approved by the authorities and so great that works but now what happens if all of these become Mallory's well we have exactly the same you know problems as we did before with double spends and censorship so it's not 
perfect. It's really not perfect. However, it is better in some ways than a centralized payment processor because at least the users are running all of the transactions themselves. And so they can detect eventually if there's a double spend. But we still have our same problems. We can technically still double spend and we can technically still censor. And it's, you know, no, not great. And that means that this is a problem because there's no open access, right? It may be hard to become one of these authorities. And also, there are no in-protocol penalties. If our double spends happen, if our censorship happens, there's nothing in protocol that will penalize these authority figures. So our wise Alice decides, what? There's another way. And you know what that way is? Well, that way is getting rid of the authority. Who needs it? And instead, uh, allowing anyone to become a quote quote minor and participate in the consensus protocol and that means that it gives open access to participate in our consensus protocol and we provide economic rewards for good behavior so forming consensus in a way that works and we provide economic penalties for bad behavior where we you know detect it and we burn people's coins but that's coming up next in proof of work mechanism design for chapter three so looking forward to seeing you then until then, lots of love. Hope you're doing well. Bye.